Ali Moreno with us then to reflect on that win for Barcelona. They were made to work hard for it, Ali, but deserved in the end? Yes, it was deserved from Barcelona. They were far the superior team. They hit the post three times. It's just, you don't really need this drama. We spoke after the Elche match that that was drama-less. This is unnecessary drama today. You were the better team. You were creating opportunities. You don't take advantage of those opportunities. And then because of, of your own fragility in the back, of, because of your own failures to clear the ball when you need to clear, now all of a sudden you find yourself in a one nothing situation and Rayo Vallecano with some momentum. But then three substitutions came in. Ronald Koeman puts in Pedri, puts in Jordi Alba. And I think that's a substitution that really made the difference. That Jordi Alba being an option down the left-hand side, much more comfortable making those runs in behind than Junior Fipo ever will be. And once he puts himself in that sort of position, then he makes Barcelona a lot more dangerous. And of course, we go back to the same conversation we've been having over the last three weeks or so, that the most important player for Barcelona right now, aside from Lionel Messi, it has to be Frankie de Jong. Yeah. He is the one that plays the through ball to Antoine Griezmann in behind for, the, for that 1-1 uh, one, one when Griezmann then finds Lionel Messi. And it is Frankie de Jong that gives you that additional option in the 18-yard box because you don't have a, no a number nine, you have a bunch of false nines. He has been the guy who has taken sort of the leadership role in being the presence inside the 10-yard box and continues to score important goals for Barcelona. Uh, you mentioned Messi, of course, first game back after that suspension. Ali, how did he look? It, it's impossible to not look at Messi and say, well, he scored a goal and really he is the one that plays the ball over the top to Jordi Alba that eventually was a goal for Frankie de Jong, not to say, you know, he's just critical for the success of Barcelona. Of course he is. But today, and, and really... I would say in the Athletic Bilbao game as well in the Supercopa last time we saw him, it, it's a lot of running with the ball and a lot of unnecessary turnovers, a lot of dribbling, a lot of sort of overdoing things perhaps because he thinks he has to do it all. I'm not quite going to give him a pass because I do think that there were moments today in which he could have released the ball a lot earlier, in which he could have finished a play that he didn't finish, in which he could have taken an opportunity that he didn't take. But when you look at the key moments and the key plays in the game, he still has to participate. And when he gets it right, more times than not, Barcelona is going to benefit from it. It was an okay match for Lionel Messi, first time back since that Athletic Bilbao game. He wasn't great, but obviously a difference maker for this team. What's on your t-shirt, Ali? What's that? This right here, this is a Spartan, baby. UNC Greensboro. Let's go, G. Ali That's where I went to school, Dan. Ali Moreno and your Spartan ways. Thank you very much. Uh, just a reminder then, the Copa del Rey continues tomorrow. Uh, Nava Canero taking on Granada. That's at 1 p.m. Eastern. Followed by Alcoyano, of course, the team that knocked out Real Madrid against Athletic Bilbao. Both of those games live here on Plus. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.